Let us now discuss another interesting question and this kind of a question is often asked in examination. So it says if AB is parallel to CD and uh, we need to find the value of X. Here also in this uh, figure you see that it is given that angle EAB is 108 degrees and angle ECD is 112 degrees and here we need to find the value of X. Now interestingly in this particular question what we do is we do a sort of construction see how we do that from E here we construct a line such that this line E F is parallel to you can choose any of the lines A B or C D so this is the basic construction for this particular question so we construct EF parallel to AB, say. Now, by doing this process, you will see that this X is divided into two parts. Now, it is made up of angle AEF and another part of this is angle CEF. So X is sum of values of angle AEF and angle CEF. So our now question is to find out, uh, let us mark this, this is angle 1 and this is angle 2. So our objective now is to find angle 1 and angle 2. Now you see here that EF we have taken parallel to AB, right? This is the construction which we have done. And here we can consider AE as uh, one of the transversal and then you will see that this angle 1, I'm marking it here, this angle 1 and 108 degrees that is EAB is making a pair of co-interior angles and you know that co-interior angles are supplementary so we can easily find the value of angle 1, right? So 1 plus 108 would be 180 degrees so from here we get the value of angle 1. Similarly if you notice here now it is given that AB is parallel to CD and EF we have constructed parallel to AB. So we know that when two lines they are parallel to the same line they are parallel to each other. So we see that EF will be parallel to CD isn't it? So here also you will see that EF is parallel to CD and uh, EC is transversal. So angle 2 plus 112 will be equal to 180 degrees. This is also making a pair of co-interior angles and you know that co-interior angles are supplementary. So this is how you can find the value of 2. So you need to find the value of x, x is angle 1 plus angle 2 and you can reach to the result. So now let us see how we can write this in examination. So first thing is we are going to write down what is given. So here given is AB is parallel to CD and then we need to find out the value of x. In the given you can also mention Angle EAB is uh, 108 degrees and angle ECD is 112 degrees. You can mention this because it's given in the figure. Now we will be writing, this is important point, construction. Now tell me what we have constructed. Yes, you are right. We have constructed a line here, EF. So we will write, construct. EF which is parallel to AB. Now we are writing the solution of this question. Consider first we are considering the lines which we have constructed as parallel. So consider EF and AB and transversal. Name the transversal. Yes, it is AE. So we observe that 108 degrees plus angle 1 
will be equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because they are making, yes, co-interior angles. And we know that co-interior angles are supplementary. So, their sum will be equal to 180 degrees. So, from here, can you tell me what will be angle 1? Angle 1 will be 180 degrees minus 108 degrees. So, what is the answer? Yes, it is 72 degrees. So, we have got angle 1 as 72 degrees. Now, coming to the second part of the question. So, if you observe the second part here, it says AB is parallel to CD and we have constructed EF parallel to AB. So, can, can we say EF will be parallel to CD? So, you need to write it down. Okay. So, let us see how we are going to write it. We will be writing it like we have EF parallel to AB. This is by construction. And we have AB parallel to CD. This is given. So, from these two we get, therefore, EF will be parallel to CD. So, what is the reason for that? Lines parallel to same line are parallel. Okay. So, now tell me how you are going to do this. Yes, we will be writing it here. Now, the second part. The second part says EF is parallel to CD and EC is transversal. EC is transversal. So, angle 2 plus 112 degrees is equal to 180 degrees because they are making co-interior angles. And we know that co-interior angles are supplementary. So, what will be angle 2? Therefore, angle 2 will be equal to 180 degrees minus 112 degrees. So, what is the answer? So, this is 68 degrees, right? Now, we have to find the value of x. x is angle 1 plus angle 2. Tell me what is the answer? Yes, angle 1 we have found as uh, this is 72 degrees. So, 72 degrees plus angle 2 we have found as 68 degrees. So, the answer is 140 degrees. Is it clear? So, the value of x in this question is 140 degrees.